In this video, I'm going to show you how to call this property function manually. So you might think that it might be quite easy to just call this property function by its function name. So remember, this is just an ordinary function. What makes it special is this decorator that's been added on, which is the add property. So here, what this does, it converts this function into a property. Now, if I were to remove this word, so if I comment this out, you can see that it changes it. Say it's a, it's a method, basically. It's just like any other method that you have. But as soon as you add add property, then what happens is this is now named as a property. So think of this as ordinary function. This bit is ordinary function. But as soon as you add the word add property, it becomes a property. But if you remove it, then it becomes a function or a method. So here, we will leave that as property. And you might think, well, this is interesting. Why I can do is this function takes in a parameter or the object or the instance, and I can just simply call that function. So you might think that you can do, so this is, remember, this is the property, how you access it, because a property is accessed like this, like in many of the languages, you can modify the property with the getter and setter. But one other interesting thing you can do with Python is, um, you, although you can't do this, so you can't say, okay, I'm just going to pass it, I know the method signature is name, so it expects something called self, which is the DOM itself. So I will just do that. And will this work? So if I were to just do a print of this. So if I print this over here, and you can see we get an error here. But if I do, even if I do dog dot name, so that's the class name, and try and run this, we still get the error object is not callable. But what you can do is you can access the name property and then it's function get so get the fu get the function the getter function which is over here and it expects one parameter so we'll just say expects the dog one and if we run this you can see here we do get the rex value printed here from this so this is how you call a getter in python if the function is set as a property so you access it by a property name and use the function get so that's going to get the getter function and then you pass it your normal parameters or arguments and that's how you call the getter method over here manually if you wanted to but remember this is the official way that you access the properties by using the equal sign or by just accessing accessing them from the object that you created like this just as in many other languages with python and i'll need to do this sort of thing if you really wanted to do it